What's up guys, Spartan85 here with some exciting news about Planet Crafter. If you guys don't know what that is, I've been playing it on Sundays, kind of my new game showcase day, but I've gotten hooked on Planet Crafter and it's such a fun, just chill game if you ever want to check it out. It is on Steam. The demo is free right now if you just want to check out the demo on Steam or it's like on sale for 16 bucks right now. I really hope it does come to console someday. I think getting through this initial release, this 1.0, release is a big deal for them so i think now they can maybe bring it to consoles because now it's technically out of early access so now it's no longer early access it's a full release game on steam i think that does make it easier to go to consoles once you're out of early access and if you don't know anything about planet crafter it came out in 2021 made by miju games started as just a couple um a literal a literal husband and wife from france and it's grown to a six-person team and it's just a little different. It's not so much like fighting zombies and monsters. It's, it is a survival game where you have to worry about oxygen, food, and water. That's what's going to kill you. But you also have to terraform a planet at the same time. And it's you got to be a little strategic about it because as the planet changes, you know, lakes form and weather patterns happen and that kind of stuff. So a really cool game if you haven't seen me play it at all. So the 1.0 release... Uh, the big thing is they brought out multiplayer. You can play up to 10 people on a multiplayer world. Now it is player hosted, so there's no like multiplayer servers or anything like that. And technically you can play more than 10. It just depends on the host computer and the internet speed. So technically maybe you could go up to 20. And honestly, just having an extra person around to help out with like harvesting and stuff, harvesting materials, would be really nice. This game would be a, just a great multiplayer game. There are no dedicated servers, you just launch the game and invite your friends, basically. They've also added creatures. Now, the very last, I think, thing you do, the terraforming thing, I think is mammals. And I think, uh, last I saw, it just was stuck on mammals. They hadn't brought out mammals yet. So now mammals are here, animals are here. And you can create creatures by combining DNA from different living things. Uh, there's going to be the DNA extractor. So you can extract DNA from living things like larvas, eggs, and seeds. Then they're going to have the DNA synthesizer, which you create a DNA sequence with the chosen genetic trait. So basically you're creating these mammals or these creatures from scratch. And then you'll create an animal shelter to spawn your creatures. You can create an infinite number of creature variations depending on your liking. So that's really freaking cool that it's almost like just wide open what you can create. And that's gonna add, and all that really does is add more time for this game to be played. Like, I mean, it's just more things you can try to create and stuff, which is really cool. There also is an animal feeder you can make. And right now there's more than 50 genetic traits right now. There's also, I guess there's an animal rocket too. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds really cool. The new objects they brought out in the new update are the Jetpack Tier 4, the Backpack Tier 6, the Deconstruct Chip Tier 3, the Pin Chip, which allows to pin five recipes, and the Light Tier 3, which is just a better light. There's three new biomes on the map. There's the Cascades, the Grasslands, and the Rainbow Caves. Uh, they've added an in-game lore, basically. So it is now possible to end the game now, and they've added a lot more lore to the game. There's a new introduction cinematic, which which the next time I play, I'll get to see. I haven't actually played the 1.0 update yet. There's 15 new achievements, 20 new music tracks. That, and they, I love the music on Planet Crafter. I freaking love the music. There's a new starting point, which is the ice planes. And you can now sit on chairs. They've also improved the quality of life and you can improve the snapping. They've improved the snapping of pod habitats, especially the big ones. And there's also a supply all button for logistics. So I'm not sure what that does, but one of the things a lot of people have asked for is a way to just quickly move stuff between inventories and storages. So maybe that's what that is. That's the big changes in 1.0. And they've also added, I believe, player skins too, I believe. Because what just watching the video, it looks like there's maybe different kind of player skins or something like that. So you can so everybody doesn't look exactly the same, but I'm not for sure if that's in this update or maybe that's going to come out in the next update i'm not really for sure but that's that's it for planet crafter a uh, big shout out to the developers for pulling this off and doing this this is really cool they haven't given up on this game it's done really well on steam really well on steam and it's continued to be a very highly played game on steam so uh like i said i'd love for this game to come to consoles i think 
if you could cross play this or something uh man this would be a fun game just to chill you know and check out your buddy's world and stuff like that so anyway guys i'm signing off and i'll catch you guys on planet crafter soon